in case you missed it, former NBA player Brad Doherty has made Daytona 500 history as the first black car owner to win the race. The winning car was driven by Ricky Steinhouse Jr. and the adrenaline drive came with a double overtime, making it the longest running uh, of the great American race. Now, the two overtimes pushed the 65th running of the race to a record 212 laps. Can you believe that? I can't believe it. Unfortunately, <laughs> okay. Doherty missed the history making moment after leaving due to an eye irritation. Mm. Uh, the team is owned by Tad and Jody Geschwichter, along with <laughs> Doherty. What's their last name? Geschwichter. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm excited about your cousin. Okay, that's good to, to hear about this story. I'm excited about um, here in Detroit. They're bringing back the, the Grand Prix, uh, and it is a race through the streets. Yeah. It's the Formula uh, racing cars. Uh -huh. They block off just about every street, you know, downtown Detroit and 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 throughout. Uh, and these cars, these Formula One cars, just race through the streets. And it was always a big to-do. I've been gone for a while, so I'm just coming back, so I'm just learning the politics behind mm -hmm. how it's back, why it's back, and folks are excited. So, you know, with Detroit being, you know, the big black city that it is, we've always, always, like I'm saying, like the hockey thing, if we just dig a little deeper, like we attempt to do here, day to day on Fox Souls Black Report, you'll know that that we, we have always been there, and so it's not a matter of being or feeling welcomed, we've been there. From yeah. jump, yeah. it's just a matter of getting back in touch and coming back to it. It's black history in the making. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right.